All right, guys. So I figured I would make this video considering that we're going to be getting the LG C2 in just a week from today. That is officially when our LG C2 is supposed to be getting delivered is a week from today on Monday, May 15th. But this TV that you're seeing that we have right here in front of the camera, this is the LG C1 OLED. Now, there have been things that I have been hearing about the C1 and the C2. Uh, some people are saying that the C1 is not all that different from the LG C2 in terms of brightness. And then I've been hearing from others that there is a, a noticeable slight uh, difference in like brightness on the C2 over the C1 and that's the main like main reason why I wanted or why we I should say ordered the C2 is because while the C1 that's right here is still holding up in incredibly well like you can see we have our PS4 Pro on and I just played WWE 2K23 on our PS4 Pro on this TV, and it's, 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 like, it's holding up incredibly well, like, let's just say that, like, you can just tell that the colors are so good, like, you can, you can just tell from the blue on the majority of the screen that's the PlayStation 4 home menu, you can just tell how incredible that it is, and then you can even see WWE 2K's icon, and you could just see how good that the reds look, I mean, this, everybody is right. Like, OLED is literally the the king. It is the king when it comes to having the best overall picture quality and the best overall uh, performance, even for, like, gaming-related. Like, OLED is incredible. But I would not recommend an OLED if you're somebody that literally only plays, like, roughly, like, one, two, maybe three games upon hours upon hours every single day i would not recommend an oled if you are going to have a couple of the same content playing for you know hours upon hours upon hours upon a daily basis i should say or you know weekly then yeah an oled's not going to be the best fit for you because even though these last recent few years oleds have been getting better and not having the risk of permanent burn-in and such it is still very risky it could still happen with any current oleds that we have today especially the cutie oleds uh are a little bit more affected than like the lg and sony traditional oleds like the lg c1 that we have right here but they're they're still very very possible if you have the same content playing for you know a bonnet daily basis for upon hours but if you're somebody like us who plays countless of different games on like you see like we have quite a few different consoles we have the ps4 pro we have the ps5 then we have the xbox one x and then as well as the newer series x so if you're like us and you play like countless of different consoles like we do then an oled tv is going to suit you just fine and you won't have any problems and as long as you or it better yet if i should say it this way if you're basically only having one console instead of like four like we got and you basically play countless of different games you're you would still be in the good so if you are at least like not playing on the tv for countless of times or leaving it on or whatever an OLED is going to be your best choice to get. But if you leave it on for hours on one simple channel, or if you play one simple game for like several hours every single day or every other day, you know, up on a weekly basis and daily basis and whatnot, then you're probably going to be better off to getting something like a Sony LCD TV or maybe even one of Samsung's like Neo QLEDs like the QN85 or the Q90 or possibly the QN95 series. And those TVs will be very, very close and almost identical to OLEDs. And you won't have the risk of burning like you would on an OLED. 
But the LGC one, like, I gotta say, like, I'm still impressed with this, and I'm really looking forward to the LGC2 here in just a week from today once we get it. Now, we got a open box, like, showed up display version that our local Best Buy had, so, and I think that the reason why we got talked into getting it is because, well, the C3 and the G3s are officially out now, and I think that now the, our local Best Buy is going to be putting up the C3 and the G3 models now because they're officially out, and then, you know, they just were like, yeah, we could just sell these at a lower discount price so we can get them off the wall. And I've actually seen the LG C2 in person compared to the C1, like at one of our other local Best Buys, not the same Best Buy that we got the C2 ordered from, but our other local Best Buy, because we do have two local Best Buys close to this area. They're the same distance. And when we were at our other local Best Buy last year, they had the C1 above the C2, or I should say the C1 below the C2. Like they had like the C1 here, and then they had the C1 or the C2 above it, I should say. And I seen the picture qualities, and I could literally tell like every inch of better color and better brightness and such that the C2 basically had over the C1. So, so people have been saying that the the brightness is not noticeable and then some have stated that the brightness is a very very slight noticeable and you will be able to tell so only time will tell once we get the tv in and hopefully this display model open box that they had is actually still in really decent condition and the picture quality is still solid and it still works perfectly but the lg c1 I'm still very, very pleased that we bought this TV still, even with getting the C2 coming in and as well as having the Samsung QD OLED S95B. The LG C1 is still incredible, especially when it comes to its picture, the performance on this TV, and the gaming performance especially. Like, you're getting input lag of around 10 milliseconds at all resolutions at 60 frames a second, on most games and then you're getting like around 5.5 milliseconds pretty much basically between five to six at 120 on freaking especially the ps5 and series x for basically gaming at 120 hertz so when it comes to input lag this tv is a rock solid gaming tv and usually the lg c series is what i've been hearing all kinds of reviewers and YouTubers and content creators out there that have been saying that the LG C series is the number one best TV uh, series out there that is the best for gaming. And honestly, I have to agree. Like, I they, they truthfully are. Like, when it comes to input lag, when it comes to really good near infinite, infinite response time, I should say. I know I messed up there for a second. And as well as infinite contrast, awesome color gamut, and the only thing that is a downfall with an OLED TVs is that the brightness is just okay. It's not going to be slightly dark, but if you're in a room with decent bit of light, it could be a problem to some people, and that's why Samsung has made the Neo QLEDs. But if you have just a decent bit of light, but it's not too distracting, an OLED TV's brightness is still going to suit you just fine especially like the c1's brightness the c1 is not super bright but it's also not very really dim but that's what we're hoping with the c2 is the bit extra brightness is what we're going to be able to see and from ratings.com it is a definitely an improvement and it is the new evo panel that LG's been making on their newer recent tvs and i've heard that the evo panels are supposed to be 20 to 30 percent more brighter than r traditional OLEDs like the C1 and all the models previously to the C1. But the C1, it still holds up a very, very close place in my heart and as well as to a lot of other gamers' hearts and just 
TV enthusiasts out there in general. And it's it's still really good. Honestly, I'm this TV, even from having having the C2 coming in and already having the S95B, which is insanely better than this one, this, the LG C1 is incredibly still holding up very well. And we have officially had the C1 for a little over 10 months now. And it will be officially turning a year this coming up July 9th. Or, well, tomorrow's actually going to be 10 months. I don't know why I was thinking I've had it for 10 months already. But, no, tomorrow is officially going to be 10 months of owning this TV. And it's still a really, really solid choice. So, if you can find an OLED for a decent price for either if it's used or still brand new, like off of places like Walmart or eBay or something, but you're definitely not going to be able to find this on Best Buy's website, and I think possibly on Amazon, but you might get lucky and find one off of Amazon.com. But Walmart and eBay and such, you can find probably some possibly new ones, but more or less, you're probably going to find like uh, open box or used ones or whatever. But if you can find a C2, especially whatever size fits for you, whether it fits a 55, 65, or even a 75 inch, or 77, I should say. I don't even think that the C1 is in 75. I think it's in 77 inch after 65. But if you can find a decent price for one, for a C1 off of either eBay or possibly Walmart's website, maybe Amazon, but I highly doubt it, I would honestly snatch a C1 up while you got the chance if it's at a very good, decent price. Because I'm telling you, like, the C1 is still a rock-solid TV. And gaming on this TV, if you're a big-time gamer and you play, like, countless of different games or you, you at least play a select few, several different games, you will not regret getting the LG C1. So... After having this TV for roughly almost a year, I can literally honestly say that the C1 is still a rock-solid choice. It is still one of the best TVs still to this day, and it is still one of the, one of the best overall gaming TVs ever made on this entire planet. So if you can find one, definitely pick one up if you can. But... That's pretty much going to do it for the video for today. I just figured I would uh, do a a you know a review of the LG C1 and compare it of you know other models like the C2 and S95B and such and do like a review of it for basically coming up to a year and to like give you guys you know my experience of with the LG C1 has been going since of owning it. And also be sure to be looking forward to our review video of the LG C2 coming up this coming up Monday, May 15th. Well, we technically won't be doing it on that day, but that is the day we're supposed to be getting it. So roughly that Tuesday the 16th or Wednesday the 17th is when we will be doing our review video once we get the TV in. But there's a good possibility chance that we might not do a review on it depending on how the condition of the TV is still holding up. If it's got some issues, we're probably going to have to either contact LG and see if they will, will repair it or we'll have to take it back to Best Buy and then possibly look into getting what our original plan was with the TCL R655 LCD TV. But hopefully... Hopefully the C2 that we get this coming up Monday is going to be still in really decent, good condition. Let's hope. But if it is, you guys will be in fact for a review video for it coming up after we get the TV. But the LG C1 is still holding up very well. But this is Tekken Gaming Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed this video of our C1 review and for our upcoming C2 review coming. So hit that like button if you enjoy this content. And also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel. And also be sure to 
Leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below. If you're somebody that has an LG C1 and you're still very, very thankful with it, or if you got an LG C2 and how great is the LG C2 in your hands. So yeah, just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below of if you have an LG C1 or an LG C2 and how are those TVs that you currently own and then especially when it comes to gaming how are you enjoying gaming on them so just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below this is Tech and Gaming Reviews hope y'all enjoyed it rate comment and subscribe and we will see you on the next one